ominous rocks, killer robots, people in mortal danger. Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Ugh. Now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. Reach for the sky, big guy. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down! Wait... I thought I... Oh, sh... You know, I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us. We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sagira, we can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. Warning, if by some ungodly reason you did not see the thumbnail, there are many spoilers ahead. So, you have been warned. Earlier today, Bungie had shown their first reveal trailer for the Curse of Osiris, which I will refer to as Taku for the rest of the video. Hashtag Taku. You heard it here first. <laughs> If you guys want to see the entire reveal, then I will put a link to it in the description below. However, I will be going over that entire reveal in depth in this video. So, on December 5th, 2017, Taku will go live. There will be a lot of new content coming with this first expansion of Destiny 2, so let's go over what we will be seeing. The story of Taku will start a few months after the end of the Red War. To start everything off, Let's go over the roster of new and returning characters in this expansion. We couldn't have a curse of Osiris without Osiris himself, which is voiced by Oded Fair. Osiris was known as the greatest warlock to have ever lived. Well, that was true until, you know, I came along. If you take a look at his bracers, they look similar to the Sunbreakers from Destiny 1, but they have been infused with Vex technology. Osiris' ghost is named Sagira, which is one of the first ever female ghosts and is voiced by Morena Bakarin, aka that hot chick Vanessa from Deadpool. Brother Vance will be making a reappearance in Taku, and <laughs> he will be one of the main NPCs for the expansion. Ikora Ray will also play a part in the new expansion as well. Next, let's talk about the enemies. There are no new enemies. No surprise there. We have to fight the Vex as well as the Cabal, but most likely the Vex will be the main antagonist. The only reason we fight the Cabal is because Mercury, a planet that we will be revisiting in Destiny 2, is the closest planet to the Almighty, aka Gaul's World Destroyer. Mercury was once a Garden Flourish planet until the Vex arrived and started turning it into a machine world. They hollowed out the core of the planet and made what is called the Infinite Forest which is not to be confused with the Vault of Glass. This new area has trees, not like your everyday Christmas tree, that allows you to move through time from the past to the present and to what Bungie calls the dark future where there is no light, no darkness, only the Vex. Now, the Vex are trying to change reality through brute force by traveling back and forth through time until they get the best possible outcome for themselves. 
In the Dark Forest, the Vex have destroyed everything, including the lighthouse on Mercury, which will be a part of the new social space for this expansion. Unlike Destiny 1, the social space will be open to all Guardians and not just those who went flawless in Trials of Osiris. This is also the location where Brother Vance will be giving us our missions. However, according to Bungie, these missions that we end up doing and redoing will change each time we rerun them. Also, in the lighthouse is a history marker that will be available after we finish the campaign. This marker holds optional quests that will unlock older weapons from Destiny 1, but they have also been enhanced with the Vex technology. Can you say, reskin? Each symbol on the marker is a quest for a weapon, and there are 12 symbols, which means there are 12 weapons. You will need to take the elements that you get from the quest to the forge, which is only a few feet away from Brother Vance, in order to make these weapons. Now, have you ever wondered if we would be able to go outside of the lighthouse? Then, the answer to that is yes. In order to get to the portal into the infinite forest, we have to fight our way through the cabal that are in between us and the portal. Our power level will also increase. The new max power level after the expansion is released is 335, from which yes, there is going to be a grind to get to it. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. We will be getting new Lost Sectors as well as a huge public event that Bungie has said to be the biggest in Destiny 2 thus far. Next, let's talk about the Mission Director a little bit. In PvE, we will be welcoming back the Heroic Strike playlist option from Destiny 1. The Fields of Glass is what our new social space is called, aka the Lighthouse. Now, the Almighty is in the Director, but as of this video, it's unsure if we will be able to go there for a mission in the expansion. And we have saved the best for last, which is the raid. We will be getting new raid content called the Raid Lair, and it will feature a slightly new revamped version of the Leviathan Raid. This new version will be called the Leviathan Eater of Worlds, go figure. It will consist of a six player activity with brand new encounters, puzzles, loot, places to explore, and a brand new final boss, so no more Callus. However, you would still be able to do the original raid as well. The recommended power level is 300 for both the old and newer revamped version of the raid. Unfortunately, the revamped version of the raid will not be as lengthy as the original, but it'll be extremely challenging and apparently we are gonna die a lot. Now, I don't know how I feel about that, but I would prefer not to die. Times like this, I wish self-res was still a thing. Both versions of the raid will be available through guided games, so enjoy sitting in the queue forever if you are trying to join someone's group. Possible good news is that the raid lair will have a prestige mode, and the second raid lair will be available in the second Destiny 2 expansion. That's good news, right? And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.